is one that I wrote myself called Sisterhood. Now before I begin, I want to apologise to all the men for neglecting you, because I know the issues in this poem affect you too, so I'm sorry to leave out all the misters, but this one goes out to all my sisters. Now we live in a culture where equality is esteemed. Some say women are living the equality dream, and looking at history, that's how it might seem. But think a bit harder and look at your screen, because I don't know about you, but I think it's obscene the way women are portrayed just makes me want to scream. Our society is saturated with sex, with women as the main objects, commodity bodies bought and sold, no such thing as overweight, no such thing as old. Images everywhere, perfect skin, perfect hair, marketing plans trying to brand womankind with a designer identity, to make flawlessness and womanhood a single entity. So the female of the species is more vulnerable than ever, letting reflections of perfection affect her core and inspect her more and you'll see she's unsure, because each time someone comments on her body it infects her more. Because the blood in a woman's veins ain't red when it contains the remains of things people have said, like, oh, she's ugly or she looks old. These words can make a woman's blood run cold and black until every remark feels like an attack and we find ourselves crying and not even trying to come back. So maybe it's the media making us weak, taking away our ability to speak without being judged from the neck down. Billboards plastered with digitally mastered so-called sexy women, not much more respect given. Femininity is something I own. I don't appreciate the way it's thrown around and abused to keep people amused, and I think it's time that someone was accused. For girls, we need to look closer than the media, because maybe she's just taking what we're feeding her. Look at the women who are dissing each other and dismissing each other on the basis of eyeshadow colour. And this is the thing that keeps on getting me, how we can be our own worst enemy. This is the height and depth of hypocrisy because we claim equality and denounce depravity, but ladies, we perpetuate this travesty. We are fighting each other in the battle of the breast, the contest of the chest and who's the best dressed. But Annie DeFranco said it the best when she stressed that women should be allies and not competitors. We're sexual prey, but we've become our own predators. Whether it's media driven or not, this vanity is insanity. This quest to be hot has got to its boiling point. We've got to stop because it's not hot to be so weak that we can't speak up for our rights, which is why tonight we have to unite, agree on this point, and together we'll fight. Here it is. Women are human. We are not for consuming. Girls, if we don't want men to treat us like sluts, then we've got to stop showing our tits and show more of our guts. Sisters, we've got to put the bunny in the bin because it's used its money to stick its head in. If you don't know which bunny I mean, then just look at the car seat covers of so many mainstream teens. Do these girls know what it means, that their bodies are merely sex machines? This symbol glamorises and eroticises the commodification and dehumanisation of women and girls. Rubies and pearls reduced to rubble. Girls abused. Girls in trouble. Now maybe you're thinking, none of this is my responsibility. Why should I tune into this feminist frequency? Well, let me tell you something that's an eminent truth. You do have a responsibility, and that's to our youth. Little girls are sucking it in. There are eight-year-olds on diets because they want to be thin. Hell, no mothers are even pleased to take their daughters to the gym because they're scared they're going to get teased at school if they ain't slim. What kind of world are we living in? Where our teenagers are cutting their meals into quarters. When we're mothers, is this what we want for our daughters? Barbies and brat dolls with see-through personalities? A beauty is everything mentality? This concept is messing with our very sexuality, tearing our already fraying morality. We've got to unchain and reclaim our vitality. Whatever happened to intelligence and spirituality? Sisters, let's look each other in the face and let's agree not to race or to chase the things that don't last because life is short and age is fast. Let's shift the focus away from hips and thighs. Let's see with our heads and our hearts, not our eyes, because that is where true beauty lies. So sisters, listen up, because we're running out of time. We've got to hold hands and stand up to the crime that we call exploitation. Ladies, this is about communication, because the more, the more one woman talks about brains over beauty, the more power it gives others to take on the same beauty. Thank you.